thousand pounds worth of food to a food bank that sprung up in Glasgow's George Square after a peace demonstration. Campaigners had gathered in the square at the weekend to show unity after trouble flared on Friday. But after one campaigner's speech, something unexpected began to unfold. Julie Peacock has the story. Another donation lands at the doorstep of Glasgow's needy food bank. Two days ago, this was a small charity run by a father and son from the living room. Now they've been given their own premises and have more than £10,000 worth of food for those who need it. This is the food that we collected over yesterday and uh, Saturday. I'm absolutely overwhelmed, overwhelmed with what I've got here. The plight and poverty in Glasgow is absolutely horrendous at the moment. I mean, some of the sights I've seen can only be described as horrific. Young children going without food at night for their beds hungry. It's not right. This is going to go a long way to helping all the families in Glasgow get their dinners at night and their breakfast in the morning. At the weekend, Andrew Kamegi delivered a speech on unity in George Square. When people listening heard about his food bank, they began bringing bags of groceries as this mobile phone footage shows. And they haven't stopped yet. Fabulous, wonderful, magnificent. That is the only words I can say. All these small children coming home in bags with their mums, people crying, old people coming with these scrutiny things and handing and stuff. There was people from Aberdeen who we were told that it was getting retreated over Canada. The Carnegies were inspired to do something after trouble flared up in George Square on Friday night. They didn't want violence to be the lasting image of Scotland spread around the world. Rather than just sitting on the sidelines, I felt inspired enough to get up off the sofa and go to the supermarket, buy some food in it and drop it off to the guys. And really raise awareness to such a good thing that they're doing. This weekend's food drive was so successful that the organisers are now hoping to make it a weekly event right here in George Square. They're hoping that by doing so, they'll show the city and its people in a much more positive light. Julie Peacock, reporting Scotland. Public.